Ms. Powell, is there anything you want to say to me at this time? Okay. Anyway, I have advised Ms. Powell that given the nature of her appeal, she should not make a statement today. And I understand that, but I have to give her the opportunity to do so. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, to the victims, to the family and friends, I am terribly sorry for your loss here. I cannot imagine what you have been through. I have received and read all of the letters that have been sent to me. I have considered the evidence that was brought into evidence um, at the trial, the statements of counsel, and all of the information that is before me at this time. I do find that counts two and three merge with count one for purposes of sentencing in this matter. Based upon the facts and circumstances of this case and in consideration of the relevant sentencing factors, including seriousness and recidivism, and applying the minimum sanction that the court has determined will protect the public and punish the offender without imposing an unnecessary burden on state and local resources, the court imposes the following sentence. On count one, ma'am, I sentence you to an indefinite sentence of 15 years to life in the Ohio Department of Corrections. On count four of the indictment, I sentence you to three years in the Ohio Department of Corrections. Those two sentences to be run concurrent with and not consecutive to each other. Ma'am, please understand that on count four of the indictment, you may be subject to a period of post-release control upon your release. And if you violate that post-release control, the adult parole authority is authorized to return you to prison for up to nine months for any single violation and up to 50% of your prison sentence for all violations. Please also understand that if you're placed on post-release control and you are convicted of a new felony, in addition to being punished for that new offense, the judge could add an additional consecutive one-year period of time in prison, whichever is greater as a maximum. Uh, Ma'am, understand that you have a right to appeal this decision and that notice of appeal must be filed when, within 30 days of the sentencing judgment entry. Your attorney has indicated to me that you are without funds to hire an attorney to represent you for appeal. Is that correct? And you wish for me to appoint counsel to represent you? Yes. All right. I will do that. We will try and get that done before you leave the Summit County Jail. Uh, Ma'am, I will not fine you. I will not assess you court costs in this matter. Counsel, is there anything that I have forgotten? No, Your Honor. I, and I neglected to do this earlier, and I apologize. We appreciate the court's deference to Ms. Powell and the opportunity to allow her to leave during certain portions of the trial. I know that um, it is rather unprecedented, but we really appreciate the court's compassion in allowing that during this trial. Thank you. No, thanks for necessary. Good luck to you, Ms. Powell. 